G'day team, Peter checking in with another unboxing. Um, this time we've got um, the speaker stands. So these are the Canto um, SE4, SE4W. So these are, I think they're referred to as the mid-height ones. There's the ones which go straight from the desk and just angle it. And there's these ones which raise it up a bit and angle it. And there's the pillar ones. So similar Canto boxing, it's like a matte finish which feels really nice and then it's got the gloss print of the actual product which is in the box. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, so these are the Canto speakers which I'm having some issues with so currently just checking in with Canto to see what we can do um, with that hissing and crackling but um, <clears throat> I think these is going to get them at better height. Um, if I can get them repaired or whatever like that. So there's all your specs, dimensions. See your model numbers and stuff. Um, that's I think your serial number there. Very good. That's it, so, oh there we go, I think that's the same thing again too, it's a barcode, very good, righto, let's have a look at these, so, looks like it flips from here, um, oh, okay, So open up, got an arrow there, so I think we just flap my strap down, it does. Um, then we're presented with some pretty good packaging in there. Everything looks pretty sturdy. This box is actually heavy, holy shit. They are super heavy. They're, that's excellent quality. So there's number one. Second one, just some packing cardboard, packing cardboard, and then we've got a bag with um, um, the screws, oh wow they've even chucked an Allen key in, that's pretty thoughtful. We got an Allen key. That's sweet. Um, I do have my Allen keys and the screwdrivers ready to go, but anyway, that's good. Um, and then you got your two screws. It's got some markings on there. If you're interested. Yes, that's good. Righto, very good. That's probably, um, it's a coarse pitch thread. And looks like we've got some <clears throat> cable management Velcro. That's also pretty thoughtful. This stuff's handy. I've got a massive roll of this stuff. And it's branded. Looks like there's two. There is. Branding, branding, branding all over it. That's very thoughtful. Righto, so let's have a look at one of these. So these are very heavy, I think for the size of that I definitely um, was not expecting that, I thought um, I'd just be, you know, metally whatever, but that is, I'd say that's a good 4mm plate still there, that is wicked solid, and it's got um, a finishing, it's like a, like a powder cake kind of finish, in a matte black it's um yeah really good quality the fit and finish of that the cuts on that are excellent but then again for that price point that is ridiculous in my opinion the price of that is just nuts but anyway buy once buy right so you got some branding on it as well at the back there it's embossed 
see that. Looks pretty cool. No, you're probably not going to see that with it at the back. Got the rubberized pad there for the speaker to sit down on. The hole. Wow. That hole's even been countersunk too. That's clever. So that, that countersunk screw will sit in there flush and nice. And then we've also got some of that same rubber rubber matting on the bottom to stop it skidding around. Wow, that is good. So that is super heavy. Righto, well let's um, get one of these Cano 4s on there. Screw it on, have a bit of a look. So just center it up. Okay. So you can see it's in the center. Get the screw in that okay. And drop it in. Make sure it's pulled towards this so it's firm on the back, but you can <clears throat> angle it back that way. So like that will give you the play. If you want to seat it <clears throat> further forwards, it won't be supported at the back, it doesn't really matter. These rubber things that's sitting down on the weight of those speakers are pretty hefty too. So I've got the speaker maxed to that back cradle. And then we'll just pull it down. Just give it a little nip off that this doesn't need to be super tight because it's essentially will be <clears throat> squashing the speaker to that um, rubber mount, rubber pad, which is good. Shit, that is heavy. What a ripper. So I'm really impressed by that. That looks sweet as. So it's definitely, um, definitely elevated it. And it's, um, wow, that looks super premium. I love that floating look. So we get it back there. Yeah, that's really nice. And um, that's super heavy duty, guys. So I definitely recommend that. And um, hopefully the guys at Keno can sort out the issues with that um, tweeter. I also noticed that <clears throat> as soon as I posted that video, another gentleman had an exact same issue. Um, so it must be coming and he said they sent him a new one, but I'm not too sure with them being a Canadian company and me here in Australia, but um, yeah, we'll give it a go. Right, our team, well, that's a Keno speaker stand and um, that's 10 out of 10 for me. That's for Ripper. Righto team, hope you have an awesome day, bye.